Welcome back. In this tutorial, we look at how do you build formulas to create a model and how do you use the cell referencing in order to copy in different ways. So here is an example where a firm has a revenue of 100,000, growth rate of 5%, and you want to create a formula where in year one you have 100,000 here, and I'm linking this to D3, and I want to keep growing this at 5%. In order to do this, I go to this particular cell E7 equal to 100,000 here. I link it to that particular cell D7 times 1 plus your growth rate 5%. And if you hit enter, you get $105,000. Now, you learned from the previous one, I can copy the formula. But you have to be very careful when you try to copy the formula here. Let's copy it, this formula to the next column. You see the number remains the same. It is not increasing by 5%. Let's see why. So if you click on this particular, you see the formula, it has moved to E4. So, but you don't want that to happen. You want the growth rate to be fixed. So let's go back to this formula here. And to fix that particular cell D4, I'll put dollar sign next to the alphabet, D. So if you're using Windows, just type in, uh, just click on F4, it puts a dollar sign. So if we hit enter, now you see it is one plus D4. If I copy the formula now, you see, Automatically, every year, the revenue grows by 5%. Let's click on F7 and look at the formula. It takes the value in year 2 and multiplies by the growth rate 5%. So that has not shifted now. Likewise, if I go to the next column, it has taken the value from year 3 multiplied by 1 plus the growth rate. So that's one way of building formula. So if I change the growth rate to say 10% here, automatically the values change. So the assumptions can be changed, the formulas will remain. Now there are different ways to lock in. If you see here, we have dollars on the both sides of this alphabet. This is a very critical skill. Now if I put dollar only on before D, so I remove that one dollar, and hit enter and now copy the formula. Let's see what happens. It works perfectly fine. It is still locked. So if I put the dollar before and I copy the formula horizontally, it is still locked. We have situations where you want the cell to be locked when I copy it horizontally, but it should shift when I copy down below. So if I go here and I copy, say, this particular formula down below here, if I click here, you see this particular D7 has shifted to D8. Likewise, D4 shifts to D5 here. But horizontally, when I copy it, the D5 was locked. But when I copy it vertically, it still shifts. Likewise, if I want horizontally, it should move. But vertically, it should be constant. So now I can take this dollar and put it on the other side. Now if I copy this particular formula here, you'll see what happens. So the number remains the same. Why? Because the cell is shifting when I put the dollar after E. But if I copy down below here and go to this particular cell, you see D4 is locked. So depending on where you put the dollar sign, I can lock it for horizontally or vertically. If I put dollar on both sides, then I lock it permanently. So this is a very critical skill you need to know on how to lock cells in building formula.